Hi everyone, it's Michelle and this is the 14th of December, so the 14th day of my Flossmas and in actual fact it almost is the 14th of December. I'm filming this so late that it is actually nearly the 14th of December. We've had a really busy day. It's been um, Ness's karate party, which <laughs> sounds like uh, I don't know, it sounds like a great thing. It was a great thing. She started doing karate this year, um, just in September actually, and she's really, really taken to it. So um, so much so that the sensei said to her uh, a couple of weeks ago actually that he wanted to get her license for next year. And I'm like, oh my God, you need a license to do karate? Is this is some kind of license to kill or something. But apparently you need a license to then go through your belts. So she's been doing super, super well at it. She really enjoys it. He's brilliant with them. As far as I'm concerned, it looks like herding cats, but he is he is amazing at getting them to do what they should be doing. And so, um, yeah, it was the party tonight and there was some some awards and she got the best newcomer. So she was um, she was super, super pleased with that. So, yeah, it is late. Like I said, it's almost the 14th. And I have some other excellent news. My prayers have been answered by Marie Redwood, who has found who has found the elusive pattern. Now, as soon as she tagged me in it on Facebook, I was like, of course it is. That's where I was looking for some of those early patterns. And it's actually, I'm just checking my notes to make sure I've got the right group. It's actually a free chart in the Prim Stitchers Facebook group. So if you want to get hold of that one, you're gonna to have to go onto the Prim Stitchers Facebook group, um, become a member of the group, and then you'll have access to the files where the free charts are um so yeah of course it made total sense and that's why it's not on the sub rosa blog because it was a free chart for for that talking of free charts i did a little one myself today and i'll put a picture of it up in the corner and i put it on instagram to see if there's any interest because it's a welsh one so it says Nadole Clawen on it. I can probably change it to make it say Merry Christmas or Happy Christmas as well. Um, I'll have a look. But I was thinking about releasing it as a freebie. So it's got the beautiful, um, typical red pattern, the Welsh blanket pattern. Um, I'm sure it's got a name, but I don't know what it is. I'll see if I can find the name of the actual, of the actual pattern. But it's a very classic one in black, red, white and grey. Um, I've added a little touch of green just to, to match the Christmas trees um, at the top where it says Nadolin Clowen. And uh, if, if folks are interested, then I will, I will release it. You could stitch it one of two ways. You could stitch it all on a kind of neutral background and stitch all the red. Or you could almost stitch Nadolin Clowen on a, a white or a neutral and then grab a red and then just stitch the motifs and actually sew them together. So you could do whatever you wanted to do on that one. But yeah, let me know if you if you fancy it and I'll I'll get it into a sort of, I'll fettle it into a sort of state that I can actually release it out. And it will be a freebie. My freebie today is this little one. It's called Mr. Robin and the Mailman. And this is by Mama Witch Cross Stitch. Um, but you, again, you need to be on Facebook for this one. And this is on her Facebook site, which is Mama Witch X Stitch. So instead of the word cross, it says Mama Witch X Stitch. And I'm going to put a, pi a better picture of it up as well, because she's got a lovely picture of it. And it just looks so fantastic. I just absolutely love the robin carrying the little letter. I think it's brilliant. And if you're not familiar with Mama Witch Cross Stitch, on Etsy, Mama Witch X Stitch on, on Facebook, then you need to acquaint yourself because she has got some amazing charts. Um, for me, she's been the sort of explosion designer of the last six months. She just kind of appeared from nowhere. I saw a, a few of her charts and just absolutely loved them. I thought they were fabulous. And everybody seems to have sort of taken taken her into their hearts and everybody's stitching them now. So it's um it's fabulous. I'm not claiming to have found her. Don't get me wrong. I'm not claiming to have found her. She already had an Etsy shop with, with lots of sales on before uh, before I sort of decided that I loved her charts. So um, yeah, I'm not claiming a, a discovery there. But please go and find out. If you're not familiar already, go and find her. My previous stitches, I've got two. This little one, I really enjoyed stitching. It looks like it's on 
vintage country mocha and I would say it's probably a 32 count and it's by Sherry Wheeler on Etsy and it's called something like Blackwork Bird. I did look it up before I came on. Uh, I think it's called Blackwork Bird, I'll put it on the bottom. But she's got several of them and they are um, all sort of a similar similar idea. She's got one that's a rabbit uh, and a couple of others and I would like to do some more of them because I really liked it. And I did just do a plain back. Now I've stuffed it with some fibre fill, hence why it's a little bit lumpy bumpy in places but I did want it to be a hanging pillow so um, yeah you can't go stuffing those with walnut crystals because they're just too heavy. And then my other pass finish is this one. This is the first time I'd ever made a stand up. So this is Strawberry Time by Barbara Anna and I believe it's from a Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. That's where I got it from, whether it's been released separately or not, because it's been out for quite a while, um, I'm not sure. And I just kind of stitched it in my own colours, put a few beads onto the strawberries there, and then made it into a stand-up using Vonna's tutorial, Vonna Pfeiffer's tutorial. And it is stitched on a piece of fabric. <laughs> <laughs> More than that, I can't tell you. It looks like it could well be either a 32 count or a 28. I think it's probably a 32 count. And I seem to remember having a piece of silk weaver about that colour. But as to what the actual silk weaver, as to what the actual colour was, I don't know. So it is a very pale, very pale blue. I want to say something like morning fog or something like that. Morning fog just got a little blue base to it so I really like stand-ups and I definitely would like to make some more of those in the future so I just put her back there where she normally normally sits and I haven't shown you my stitching I have been stitching on I fancied a, a little go on this one which is deck the halls by caterpillar cross stitch and this is where I've got two on this I've been stitching on this the last couple of days sort of on and off and I've got, oh, I've got a big thread right across there. This is stitched on a piece of vintage blue by Zweigart. So it's basically the blue version of vintage country mocha, but it always blows out horrendously in this, but it is a lovely blue. And I've done a couple of the Christmas trees. I've left the lights off because I'm going to put those on beads. And I started this little stocking, but I fluffed it up here I tried to count up with the reds and I managed to go one stitch too many or one half stitch too many so I need to pull out those top two and then redo it part of me did think about leaving it and just making it slightly fudge it but for the number of stitches it is I'm just going to take it out so I wish you could see the proper proper blue that it is because it's lovely really nice. Um, I'm a little worried about the white and I don't think the white for the snowman and the snowballs and things like that is necessarily going to show up very well on camera but I think it will show up fine on on here. So that's what counts isn't it? That's what counts. Right this is going to be a quick one today as I said it's so late it's just almost any time for bed what have we got today in the advent calendar from M&S Magic and Sparkle Ooh, Philip Kingsley pure colour frizz fighting gloss there we go so that's another hair hair thing I don't know what colour oh it's clear so okay it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what colour hair you've got it just fights frizz on anybody's hair which is kind. And then, pumpkin overboard. Find that later. Number 14, day number 14, only 10 days left, can you believe it? We have got, oh, I love this one. Just uh, can handily throw that over there. We have got Merlot. Weeks Dye Works Merlot. What a lovely colour. 
Imagine a red sampler all in that, that Merlot. That would be very nice, wouldn't it? So I'm going to add it to my little ring of goodies. And we shall see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully something a little bit earlier in the day. Stay classy, Stitchers. <laughs>